Hey, it's me, Tarek here, and today I am going to be talking about one of the greatest tools in humanity's toolbox, and that is scissors. Believe it or not, scissors have been around for thousands of years, and in those thousands of years, there has been different versions of scissors. The first pair of scissors ever discovered by humanity goes back about four to 5,000 years ago, back to the ancient Egyptians. The ancient Egyptians invented a kind of invention that looks very similar to scissors today, and I like to call them the U-shaped scissors. The ancient Egyptian scissors were used for really large tasks like gardening. Their scissors weren't really small and mobile like this. They were, it was really huge, and it was used for big tasks like gardening or cutting up very large material. The uses for the scissors were very, very limited. Since the scissors that the Egyptians used was really big, the scissors couldn't be really used for cutting hair or cutting paper. They mostly used it for cutting plants or cutting really large material. A few hundred years, uh, a few, I guess, thousand years later, a few thousand years later, then we have the Roman civilization. And the Roman civilizations also invented a scissors that is similar to the Egyptian scissors. If you actually look at the picture, it looks actually almost the exact same as the Egyptian scissors, except these scissors were used for much more different tasks. They were much smaller than the Egyptian scissors, and they were used for tasks like we would typically use scissors for today, like cutting hair or even cutting paper. In their time, they actually had paper to cut. In the Egyptians' time, they didn't really have any paper. So the Romans used their very small kind of mobile scissors to do that. And again, just like the Egyptians, only the wealthy could afford scissors. Because since they were handmade out of very expensive materials like bronze and iron, scissors were very, very expensive and very hard to make and very hard for everyday people to have. Also, since they were made out of bronze and iron, the more they used the scissors, the more they had to sharpen the blade because the blade would get very, very dull very, very quickly. But luckily, a few thousand years later, we come across this scientist, and his name is Robert Hillicliffe. I think that's how you say his name. There isn't any picture of him. There's just his name, so that's him, Robert H. I'm just going to call him Robert H. And Robert H. invented the modern scissors that you would see today. And the reason why his scissors was much better than the ancient Egyptian or the ancient Roman scissors is because his scissors worked much more efficiently, plus more people had access to this tool than like the wealthy, the, the wealthy Romans or the wealthy Egyptians. Instead of the wealthy just having access to this tool, Robert made scissors out of steel. And steel is a very, very stronger material than bronze or iron, meaning the scissors didn't have to be sharpened as much and the blade didn't get dull very quickly. Another good thing about steel is that it can be melted. What Robert discovered is that steel can be simply melted and poured into molds so he can create more scissors and giving more people access to the scissors. As you can see, this very simple tool has been through so many stages of development for thousands of years. People have been creating different versions of these scissors. And I hope you enjoyed knowing about the little bit of history about the scissors. And thanks for watching.